Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the tried and true but long in the tooth G33 to the new hotness, the G45. So for anyone who wasn't aware, the G33 is the three power magnifier that's been offered by EOTech for quite a while now. Uh, I know they did have one before the actual G33, don't remember the actual model number. Um, lots of other three power magnifiers out there. Uh, made by Inkpoint with their 3X Mag, 3X Mag 1C, something like that. Uh, Vortex Micro is a very good offering, so it would be even better than G33. Uh, Holosun, Trijicon, and then there's lots of other Chinese-made, um, less, less known optics that probably shouldn't even be considered for serious use. Um, it's been around for quite a bit. G45 has been out for a couple years now. Uh, it ups the ante to 5 power magnification. Uh, myself, uh, I've been in the magnifiers for a few years now. Started with a uh, the Holosun. <clears throat> Don't remember the model number. I think it's three three XMT something like that. Ended up picking up a Trijicon MRO three power magnifier. Uh, was really happy actually with both of those. Didn't like the overall size of the Holosun. And with the Trijicon, um, you know, I know some people outcry because that was made in uh, China. Um, but it, it was a very clear, very, very good magnifier in my mind. Um, the problem that I had was that it was not truly ambidextrous. And as a lefty, uh, that is something that you definitely got to have. Um, you were able to turn around in the mount, but it made it sit more at a different cantilever uh, offset than it did when, you, when it was set up for a right-handed person. So I ended up getting rid of it. Finally got my hand on a G33. Um, had a couple of them. Uh, the mag, the Aimpoint 3X Mag is very good. Also, uh, also another very old magnifier. When you when you look at it, um, it does look a bit dated. I don't think the G33 really looks that bad. Um, but I do probably prefer the G33 out of all of them. Uh, and I, I did really like them. Um, gives you some 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 zooming in power. Uh, until I recently got to mess with LPVOs. Still had a place for magnifiers. Had one here on my Devore. Uh, also had one on my my daily driver, so to speak, which is my uh, Ballistic Advantage 13.9 that I that I reviewed in one of my earlier builds. Um, had wanted to try a G45, but really wasn't thrilled about the price of them. So I uh, came across a company on Facebook. Somebody recommended them. I think they were called like Kosher Surplus. Um, and now they've changed their name to Custom Night Vision, I believe. But they do offer the G45 for sale without the mount for about 470 bucks, which is, you know, a pretty good, pretty good deal when compared um, to buying the whole setup. Um, you know, these switched aside uh, mounts, they aren't, they aren't cheap. They actually, they add quite a bit of money to the price. Um, I believe the average price is about 660. Uh, it's definitely no... Pretty sizable chunk of change not saying that 470 isn't but definitely a lot more um, Palatable than than the 660 so wanted to give a shot picked it up put it here replaced the uh, g33 on my on my SAR and uh, def I fell in love with it um, I do feel that just that two power at magnification gives you much more uh, utility and use uh, way more over the g33 with its three power magnification uh, going over the white paper uh, comparisons between the two, um, overall dimension sizes, uh, the G33 is 4.4 inches long, 2.2 inches wide, and 3.3 inches high. The G45 is a little bit shorter at 3.9 inches, so it <clears throat> gives you about a half inch less length over the G33, though it is slightly wider at 2.3. Height, is, is they're both at 3.3. Um, weight wise, the G33 is 10.6 ounces, whereas the G45 adds 2.2 ounces and brings you up to 12.8 ounces overall. Though I will say you don't really notice the weight. <clears throat> Both are submersible up to 33 feet, and the G33 has 2.2 inches of eye relief, and the G45 has 2.6 inches of eye relief. I know that's one of the negatives that a lot of people say. Um, have about magnifiers is their eye relief and there isn't any of them out there that are really that good um, It is actually surprising that the G45 uh, Has better eye relief at its five power over the G33 and it's three power so <clears throat> about 0.4 inches at least according to the white paper But something something interesting about that that I'd like to point out 
So you'll see here as I put them end to end, at least the four line up the forward ends of them, you see up top how the G33, uh, it gives up that length to the G45. So um, while it is, ha the G33 has less eye relief, being that it, the eyepiece is further away from your eye on the G45, it ends up being about the same. So shorter length, the G45, improved eye relief, um, but the difference in, difference in length makes them almost the exact same eye relief. I was wondering why uh, when I mounted my G45 in the same spot uh, that I had the G33 that it didn't really feel um, any different. So you're, you're really only going to notice that eye relief if you, if you position your magnifier in a different Picatinny slot. And then lastly, the uh, field of view with the uh, G33, you get 7.3 degrees. Um, and the G45, it is a bit more narrowed at 4.4 degrees. Now, going back to why I like the G45 so much better than the G33. Um, while it is, it is handy having three power magnification, it is nothing that's really drastic that jumps out to you. Uh, when I first mounted up the G45, I really was blown away that even though it's only two, two times more power, um, it, it gives you much more capability to see further away and with much uh, clearer detail. I'm going to drop some pictures in and comparing the two, uh, showing uh, the back of my bedroom window at a house in the neighborhood, uh, the street behind me. Uh, and that house is about 214 yards away uh, to the garage. So again, I'm going to take a minute and drop those pictures in. And as you can see, there was a huge, huge difference in what you, um, not only what you could identify, but what you could potentially make shots on. Um, it is, it, it is in my mind, a game changer. Uh, and it has made me feel like I'll never get another G33 again or a three power magnifier. Um, I just don't see the use for it. And again, that's just me personally. Uh, I know there's other three power optics out there besides just magnifiers, whether it be the TA33 ACOG or other prism, prism sites. Not saying they don't serve a purpose, but for me purpose, uh, uh, personally, the G45 is now definitely my go-to. So I ended up taking the G33 off this one and selling it. Uh, and then I also ended up taking the one off of my 13.9 Ballistic Advantage uh, build. Um, this one here, I ended up putting the HRF Concepts AMC. Uh, I think that's the right word for it or the right acronym, uh, Armored Magnifier Cover. Yeah, HRF Concepts AMC. They make these for the G45. They make them for the G43. Interestingly enough, they do not make them for the G33. Uh, and just quickly, difference between the G43 and G33, if you aren't already aware, the G43 is a compact version of the G33. So while still uh, three power magnification, it is a little bit shorter. I really only bought the HRF Concepts cover um, because it's, it would save me from having to rattle can uh, to try to match the gun. And I know that's kind of chicken crap, but um, it's something also different and a little bit cool. Uh, I did end up cleaning all of the rattle can off this uh, G33 here. I'll probably end up getting rid of it. But the HRF Concepts, besides adding the... Uh, the, the matching in with the color, um, it does actually serve a purpose. Now, while the all of the EOTex come with a um, a rubber armor cover on it, which you know definitely does its job. One of the complaints about the G33, well, really all of them, they have these these turrets that adjust um, windage and elevation. And again, it does not matter where you see your reticle in the glass it just you know helps it center up and makes your brain process it a lot better but they they turn very easy uh if you bump them they can turn uh the hrf concepts uh this is not a rubber cover that i believe this is made of some type of nylon um whether it's, i don't know if it's molded or if it's 3d printed but you can see it adds some protection from the turrets uh from getting bumped so Definitely a very cool product. A um, little bit pricey for what it is, though. I believe this was $80 for the flat dark earth color. The black ones are more like $70. Uh, 
Um, but they also make a whole bunch of other cool uh, um, products as well from throw levers to different mounts that can go on to the Unity mounts to add um, your your night vision laser, laser aiming device onto it. They make mag wells, um, all types of cool stuff. So if you're, if you're interested in, in seeing some, uh, some pretty cool gear, go check out their website. So that about wraps up this video, um, my comparison between a G33 and G45 and why I am now a dedicated G45 guy, um, I feel that it is a great alternative uh, to an LPVO, at least a 1 to 6 powered LPVO. Um, saves you some weight, uh, you, always, you can always add the option of removing the magnifier to save yourself some weight and again, you know, being, uh, being 12.8 ounces, getting that off definitely makes it feel um, a little bit better. Uh, you don't have to worry about re-zeroing a magnifier like you would if you removed a, a primary optic. So it gives you that ability to zoom into a, a decent power um, without without uh, sacrificing the weight uh, and then also even the cost. You know, I mean, LPVOs can be pricey as they are, uh, and then you've got to go buy a, a, a quality mount, which, you know, some will say the, the arrow is is decent but i mean you can probably spend expect to spend 200 300 for a quality mount so something to consider um again my purposes for this gun um you know i, I know some people say that i should have the lpvo on this 13.9 and the red dot magnifier on my 12.5 instead uh, but for what i wanted this gun to be again it's my um it's my daily driver i keep in my trunk um, if I need to travel out of state and I don't want to have an SBR or if I don't have permission to travel out of state yet, um, it, it keeps it nice and light and handy. Uh, and, and the G45 definitely gets me closer to L LPVO capabilities uh, without, without uh, having extra weight that comes with it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Uh, if you feel like subscribing to the channel, please do share it. Uh, and thank you very much.